Hello and welcome to the Light from Light podcast. My name is Brother Thomas Therese. Blessed Solanus Casey was a Capuchin friar. Uh, he was a priest who was never given permission to hear confessions or, I think, to preach homilies. He was what's often called a priest simplex, which basically means that you know he can say mass. Yes, he's ordained. Yes, he's a priest. But there are some things that he can't do. He's like a sort of not a priest light because he's still a priest, but there are some functions that he doesn't do as a priest. He doesn't hear confessions, for example. Uh, he doesn't give formal uh, sermons or homilies, uh, for example. And this sounds very strange to most of us because when we think of priests, we think of priests being able to do all of these things. There was a worry in the minds of his superiors that he wasn't bright enough to understand all the various elements that a priest needs to understand in order to hear confessions. The legal aspect of the confessional and the church's, the church's canon law when it comes to confessions. And yet he was ordained as a priest. He celebrated mass. He gave advice to people who came to the door. He loved people. He was an open friar who allowed others to open their hearts to him. And there are many stories of Blessed Solanus, who died in the 1950s, I think it was 1957, of healings. He healed many people and he read their hearts. There's a story of two sisters who come to the door. One of the sisters is suffering very much. And um, she he, t he tells her, don't worry, sister, you know, you will get better. And then he turns to the other sister, who at that moment is well, and he says to her, but you, sister, your sister, your life is going to be one that's full of much suffering. So he has a particular insight, which is extraordinary. It's a particular gift he's been given from God. And uh, whilst he didn't hear confessions and things, he had some quite simple uh tasks in the community, things that would ordinarily be given to a lay brother. He was the doorkeeper. Now, one of the things that you might remember of Christ in the Gospel of John is he says, I am the gate or I am the door. Blessed Solanus, the doorkeeper, represents Christ anew, who in the Gospel of John says, I am the door, I am the gate. Blessed Solanus is a gateway incarnate in the flesh to Jesus Christ. He helped people to open their hearts and whilst they couldn't come to him to receive absolution and confession, they came to him and they still found help and relief that they needed. They were able to open their hearts to him and still in some way relieve something of the burden which they carried. He reminds us that the world doesn't just need what we can do. It needs what we are. He showed in his person the very presence of God and took the presence of God as an, as an ordained minister, as somebody who could be in the person of Christ in a unique way as a priest to others. He represented God to his people. God's presence in him was brought to many. It was said that he would have at times, you know, up to 60 letters on his desk and people, hundreds of people would come and see him uh, each week. Uh, there was a story also of a man who came to see him who was drunk, a, a young man, I think in, in his teens, who was drunk, who came to see him, who was very angry with him. And Blessed Solanus was very gentle and calm with him and allowed the man to be angry and to pour out his heart. And eventually the man started sobbing into uh, Blessed Solanus, Blessed Solanus's uh, arms. He found the presence of God in this holy and humble friar. And this is something that all of us can learn as Christians. To be that presence of God. When we receive the Eucharist into ourselves, we receive God himself into ourselves. We become like living tabernacles that go throughout the world, spreading the presence of God for others. That's what we are called to be as a church. 
Blessed Solanus did this in a unique way as a as a priest and as a friar, as an eschatological sign, as someone who points to heaven. But all of us have the ability to bring the presence of God into the lives of others. Because for many people, you might be the only visible presence and connection with the church, the only conscious relationship with Christ and his church. So pray to Blessed Solanus that he might show you where God is present in your life and ask for the grace to be able to bring God's presence into the lives of others. God bless you.